Um, welcome everybody. Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, wherever in the world you are currently based. My name is Dr Emily Jones and I am a lecturer here in the School of Law at the University of Essex. And of course, I am the co-convener alongside my colleague, Dr. Megan Wong of the Essex Public International Law Lecture Series. It is my absolute pleasure to be your host for today's lecture. And we're very pleased to have with us today, Judge Ida Caracciolo of ITLOS, um, who's a judge at the International Tribunal for the Law of the Sea. That's what it ITLOS stands for. I'm assuming most of you know that, but not everyone necessarily. Um, so she'll be speaking to the topic of the regime of international straits, freedoms, rights, and obligations at stake. Judge Caracciolo is our first female judge in the lecture series, so we're particularly proud to have her join us today. And the law of the sea, like many areas, sadly, of international law is often quite a male-dominated area, but this is really changing. There are obviously lots of members who are women who sit on, as part of ITLOS, and it's really, truly fantastic. Um, and it's something that Dr. Wong and I find to be very, very inspiring. So we're very, very happy to have our speaker with us here today. And we are also proud to have J Judge Caracciolo's ITLOS colleague, Judge Maria Teresa Infanti Kefi, joining us in the series later this year as well. So, um, you know, pretty stellar lineup for the term there. So, um, Judge Caracciolo is also our guest speaker um, on our public international law module. So it's our LLM module that was run by Dr. Wong and I, um, where she joined us for the Law of the Sea class. So we wanted to take this opportunity to really thank her on behalf of ourselves and also our students, um, who were very, very lucky to have such a formidable Law of the Sea expert teaching them their classes. So I will hand over to Dr. Wong shortly to introduce our speaker properly, but before I do so, I just wanted to say a couple of words about the series. So many of you probably have a sense of the series by now, but the Essex Public International Law Lex Lecture Series is co-convened and co-founded by myself and Dr. Megan Wong. We are both international lawyers, but Dr. Wong is a formalist and I am a critical international legal scholar. And this series is built upon our differences as well as our deep respect for one another's scholarship and importantly our friendship. The series therefore prides itself on bringing these two important intellectual traditions of international law, formalism and international legal practice and critical international legal theory together. And this term we've already had a fantastic few lectures and you can see our website and YouTube channel for more information on that. Some of them have been recorded as well if you did miss out. And following today's event, this term we will also be welcoming in one week's time, Professor Diane Otto of Melbourne Law School. And then following that, we will have Osvaldo Eurasia of the Universidad Católica de Vasparaiso, Judge Eric Venestrom of the European Court of Human Rights, and Professor Anne Orford of Melbourne Law School. And our final special event for the term, um, which is one to really look out for, is of course the one with Judge Maria Teresa Infanti Caffi of ITLOS, who will be speaking alongside Professor Malgozio Fitzmaurice of Queen Mary University of London, Professor Fonti Pazazis of the National and Capodistrian University of Athens and Chair of the UN Human Rights Committee and Professor Patricia Galvotelos of the National University of Singapore and the Autonomous University of Lisbon, who is of course also a member of the International Law Commission. So that will be our kind of uh, finale for the end of the year, but of course today is about today's event and we're so happy so many of you have joined us. So I would now like to take the opportunity to introduce you to my colleague, Megan Wong. So Dr. Megan Wong is a lecturer in the School of Law at the University of Essex. She is the director of the LLM in International Law and also directs the LLM in the International Law of the Sea module. She is a journalist public international lawyer with a specialist interest in the international law of the sea and has advised states on a broad set of issues in international law. Dr. Wong holds a PhD in public international law from Leiden University and is the author of a forthcoming monograph which is coming out with Cambridge University Press entitled Responsibility of States and Individuals, Aggression at the International Criminal Court. So without further ado, I would like to hand over to my fantastic colleague, Dr. Wong. Thank you, Dr. Jones, my co-founder and co-convener for the kind introduction, and buonasera e benvenuti. It is my honor to chair this lecture and to introduce Judge Ida Caracciolo today. Before I do so, if I could announce some housekeeping rules, 
Judge Caracciolo will speak for about 40 minutes, and then there will be accompanied with a Q&A session afterwards. You can ask questions in the Q&A box. I will read out your name and affiliations if you choose to state them, unless you opt to be anonymous. And now for the introduction. Judge Ida Caracciolo has been a member of the International Tribunal for the Law of the Sea since 1st October last year. So congratulations on your recent election. As Dr. Jones was saying, this is such an inspiration to us and as well as to the other women in international law. In addition to being a member of ITLAS, Judge Caracciolo is also a member of the Permanent Court of Arbitration for the Italian National Group, alternate arbitrator in the OSCE Court of Conciliation and Arbitration, and she has also been an ad hoc judge in the European Court of Human Rights. Judge Caracciolo has been counsel for Italy in various settings before the European Court of Justice and the European Court of Human Rights, before the International Court of Justice in the legality of the threat or use of nuclear weapons, the immunity from legal process of a special rapporteur of the Commission for Human Rights and the legality of the use of force, and before the International Tribunal for the Law of the Sea for the Enrica Lexi and North Star um, cases. She has also represented Italy in a number of multilateral settings where she was a member of the Italian delegation for several organs and committees within international organizations, including Council of Europe, European Union, and the UN General Assembly Six Committee, as well as several multilateral negotiations. More specifically on the international law of the sea, she has been a member of the Italian delegation for several bilateral negotiations, including the exchange of views on the delimitation of the continental shelf between Italy and Malta, the exchange of views on the regime of the Sicily Channel waters and their delimitation with Tunisia, the delimitation of maritime spaces between Italy and France, the delimitation of maritime spaces between Italy and Greece. In addition to being a member of ITLAS, Judge Ida Caracciolo is also a full professor of international law at the Department of Political Sciences, University of Campania, Luigi Van Vitelli. Her scholarship is extensive and she has published widely in public international law, international law of the sea, international human rights law, including her book, Il diritto internazionale, diritto per gli stati e diritto per gli individui published with Gia Pichelli. In relation to today's lecture of the International Legal Regime of Straits, Judge Caracciolo has published extensively in the areas of maritime security, peacekeeping, disarmament, and international peace and security more generally. And it's my pleasure to now hand over, so to speak, Zoom to Judge Ida Caracciolo to begin her lecture. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm really very pleased to be with you uh, all, even if at distance. And before starting with my topic, I really wish to thank uh, Dr. Megan Wong and Dr. Emily Jones for the invitation to participate in the Essex Public International Law uh, Lectures. Uh, as you know, uh, my, um, um, uh, my topic is the uh, legal regime of uh, international straits. Uh, since uh, uh, we mm, could uh, uh, um, speak for hours and hours on, on, on international uh, straits, I will uh, restrain myself uh, to um, outline the uh, approach um, um, towards straits um, con contained in the International Convention on the Law of the Sea of 1982, and then uh, compare um, um, and uh, control if uh, in how in practice uh, the uh, regime uh, of UNCLOS has been uh, implemented uh, in for um, uh, straits. Uh, for Mediterranean, Mediterranean um, uh, straits, uh, namely uh, the um, 
Straits of Gibraltar, the so-called uh, Turkish uh, Straits, and to um, uh, other um, smaller but uh, important uh, straits within the Mediterranean Sea, uh, the um, Strait uh, of Messina and the Strait of uh, Bonifacio. Um, well, since uh, uh, the past uh, straits uh, have always been perceived as a um, as places of, of conflict and uh, contrast. Um, I would like to start from the very beginning and uh, recall uh, Homer, who uh, places um, in what is now uh, the Strait of Messina um, two immortal and uh, um, irresistible monsters, uh, Scylla and um, Charybdis, uh, who uh, beset the narrow uh, waters uh, traversed uh, by uh, uh, Odysseus uh, in his wanderings uh, described in the uh, Odyssey. But let, uh, but allow me to remind that uh, the uh, most famous book in the um, uh, story uh, in, uh, of the law um, uh, in the law of the sea uh, was. Um, uh, uh, you all know uh, it, uh, Mare Liberum of uh, Grotius, was uh, 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 um, published uh, um, uh, uh, after uh, an uh, incident uh, um, occurred in the Strait uh, of uh, Singapore, uh, uh, where um, a um, uh, Dutch, uh, uh, where a Portuguese um, uh, ship was uh, the Santa Cla Santa Catarina uh, was um, seized, attacked, seized, and then auctioned uh, by the uh, Dutch in in in. Um, 1603 during the commercial uh, war between uh, Portugal and uh, Holland over the um, monopoly of uh, on, on the space trade uh, in the uh, East. Um, Hugo Grossius was a council of the Dutch India Company and uh, Mari Libero was just a chap a chapter of a um, more extensive uh, defense uh, prepared by uh, Grotius and never published except for uh, some uh, parts. And yet another uh, uh, incident in a strait uh, is very famous. Uh, I'm referring to the incident in the Corfu uh, Channel, which gave rise to three uh, rulings uh, uh, of the newly established uh, International Court of Justice uh, uh, in a landmark um, case uh, uh, where um, the court uh, had the opportunity uh, to uh, clarify some aspects uh, of the regime of navigation uh, through um, international uh, straits, and in particular that uh, warships enjoyed um, a customary right uh, to innocent passage through uh, straits uh, uh, used in international navigation in times of uh, peace, and that there is no uh, right except otherwise prescribed in international uh, conventions for a coastal uh, state to uh, prohibit uh, such passage through straits in time of uh, peace. Of course, uh, uh, conflicts over uh, uh, straits uh, uh, are uh, um, caused uh, by, because uh, these uh, narrow, um, um, high, um, uh, narrow uh, um, uh, uh, sea areas are um, uh, um, very sensitive for geographical and political reasons for bordering uh, states. Uh, but but at the same time, um, uh, flag states and states having uh, um, uh, large uh, naval uh, forces are as well interested in these uh, waterways that uh, assure uh, vital uh, national uh, interest. Uh, so the question of uh, legal rights uh, of passage for foreign ships through uh, straits cannot but uh, held a prominent place during the negotiations of uh, the 1982 uh, Convention on the Law uh, of the Sea. 
in particular, uh, these extended uh, discussions was due to the expansion uh, of uh, uh, the territorial sea up to uh, 12 uh, nautical uh, miles. Uh, that uh, choice uh, meant that significant areas um, that were previously uh, subject uh, to the high seas regime uh, of freedom of navigation and of the other uh, freedoms of the sea uh, um, would fall under uh, the control and regulation of coastal um, states. Um, so, uh, 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 um, some naval powers were not favorable uh, to the loss of their freedom of, of movement in the high seas, while on the other, uh, other hand, coastal states uh, wary of uh, foreign shipping activities um, near their coast, um, uh, including uh, the threat from the transport of oil and chemical substances and other uh, um, dangerous uh, substances sought uh, greater uh, regulatory uh, control uh, um, on uh, the uh, straits. An eventual uh, compromise solution was achieved with uh, the introduction of an entirely new uh, regime, that of transit uh, passage. So the uh, uh, conclusion uh, is that uh, while the Geneva Convention uh, on uh, the Territorial Sea and the Contiguous Zone of 1978 just um, devoted uh, uh, a paragraph uh, to uh, uh, straits, uh, a paragraph uh, uh, establishing the principle, codifying the principle of uh, innocent passage through international uh, straits. Uh, on the contrary, uh, UNCLOS devotes um, an entire part, part three, on, uh, inter on navigation um, through uh, international uh, straits, um, which includes uh, 20, uh, uh, 12 uh, articles, plus an article, um, uh, article two, um, um, 33 um, contained in part 12, which is uh, a landmark article for uh, navigation uh, in international uh, straits. Let me um, 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 remind you that part three, the fact that uh, straits are regulated in a completely different part from that dedicated to the territorial sea, it's a very important uh, element and I will um, elaborate uh, on it uh, later uh, on. Um, I just... Uh, uh, wish to underline that uh, um, this uh, separation between part two on the territorial sea and part three on uh, international straits uh, indicates very well that uh, the regime of navigation in uh, through straits is a completely autonomous regime from that of the territorial uh, sea. It's a regime uh, focused on navigation and less or uh, not at all focused on um, uh, the sovereignty and the expansion of sovereign uh, powers uh, um, um, by coastal states on their uh, respective uh, territorial um, uh, seas. The element the, the element of transit, in my opinion, is uh, a pervasive uh, element and it constitutes uh, the uh, um, red thread uh, uh, um, uh, which uh, we have to uh, take uh, into consideration. It is the discriminating factor uh, in the distinction between international uh, straits and purely internal tra straits, uh, which are not uh, uh, disciplined uh, by um, uh, UNCLOS 
uh, um, uh, and, and this is in line with the uh, position taken by the ICJ in the uh, Corfu Channel case, uh, uh, in which the court agreed that the Corfu uh, Channel was not necessary, necessary, a necessary route, but said that it has nevertheless been a useful uh, route for international maritime uh, traffic. And the element of transit uh, also constitutes the discriminating factor in determining the legal regime uh, of the various uh, international uh, straits, um, predominantly uh, in the dichotomy between transit passage and uh, non-suspendable uh, innocent uh, passage. Uh, so the balancing um, of opposing interest is achieved uh, by uh, UNCLOS by admitting uh, different declinations of freedom of navigation in international uh, straits and thus through different legal regimes of navigation uh, through international um, straits. First of all, the regime of transit uh, passage, uh, it applies, uh, as you uh, certainly uh, know, uh, to straits used for international navigation between one part of the high seas or an e -E exclusive economic um, zone, EEZ, and another part of the high seas or an um, EEZ. Um, uh, second, we have the regime of uh, innocent uh, passage, which uh, it applies um, uh, at excludendum uh, to two uh, categories of uh, straits. Uh, straits formed by an island of a state bordering the strait and its uh, mainland. If there exists a seaward of the island, a route through the high seas or through an EZ of similar uh, convenience. This is the so-called Messina exception because Italy was very strong in uh, sustaining uh, this exception during uh, the negotiations of uh, UNCLOS. And uh, then um, um, the second um, uh, uh, um, straits, uh, category of straits within this uh, group is the uh, straits between um, a part of the high seas and an EZ and the territorial sea of a state. This is the uh, situation, this situation features uh, prominently in the straits of, in the strait of uh, Tehran uh, between the Arabian Peninsula and that of uh, Sinai. Uh, third, we uh, have various alternate navigation regimes um, uh, for uh, specific categories uh, of uh, straits, in particular straits wider than uh, um, 24 nautical uh, miles. In these straits, there is uh, a channel of high uh, seas uh, um, uh, freedoms freedom uh, uh, of navigation and uh, overflight, uh, which, uh, um, 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 which apply ipso facto. Um, and then um, um, straits in which uh, passage is regulated uh, uh, wholly or partially by long-standing international, uh, by long-standing international uh, conventions. This is typically the case of the Turkish uh, uh, Straits, we, which um, 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 to which uh, the Montreux Convention of 1936 um, applies, and then uh, straits uh, that form part of the internal waters uh, of a state, which in general um, are uh, submitted to the regime of internal uh, waters. 
I, I won't describe in detail each of these regime. I would uh, rather like uh, to um, underline the rational and the main character characteristics of uh, each uh, regime, having in mind this idea that uh, each of these regime is a declination, a peculiar, um, a specific declination of uh, 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 freedom of, of uh, navigation. Uh, uh, the regime of transit passage. Well, it, it lies somewhere uh, between freedom, um, uh, between uh, freedom of passage, uh, uh, freedom of navigation and innocent uh, passage. Here, indeed, we have the freedom of navigation. Uh, um, so it is a regime which stems from the idea of, uh, with, with the concept of freedom of navigation on the high uh, seas. But this freedom is limited since uh, 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 the navigation and the uh, uh, overflight are uh, conducted solely for the purpose of continuous and expeditious transit of the uh, strait. Uh, so uh, uh, the um, uh, while the freedom of navigation on the high seas is limited by the due regard of other uh, uh, um, uh, freedom of the seas by other states, here uh, the navigation is limited by the, uh, uh, the function uh, of uh, um, passing uh, through uh, um, a uh, strait. Uh, um, the uh, 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 and from uh, uh, these points, uh, all uh, the regime of duties on uh, 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 ships uh, uh, and aircraft uh, in uh, transit uh, is uh, developed. Um, uh, uh, in particular, we uh, have three uh, categories uh, of duties. The first uh, um, category uh, are, um, consists uh, of common duties for ships and aircraft uh, in transit passage. Uh, the second uh, category consists of duties only for ships, while the third um, uh, consist uh, consist of uh, duties uh, only uh, for uh, aircraft uh, in transit uh, passage. Uh, I th I think that uh, the um, um, the uh, two uh, most uh, important duties are the duty to refrain from any threat uh, or use of force uh, against the sovereignty, the territorial integrity, uh, or uh, political independence of states bordering um, the, uh, uh, the strait or in any other manner contrary uh, uh, to the UN um, uh, Charter. Uh, a second uh, um, uh, limitation uh, is um, the, um, co um, uh, the consists uh, in the obligation to refrain from any uh, activities over than uh, those uh, incident to their uh, uh, normal uh, modes, uh, to, to ships' uh, normal modes of continuous and expeditious uh, transit, um, except in cases of force majeure or distress. Uh, here, we have a gray uh, zone, uh, since it's not clear which is the, uh, uh, the normal mode uh, of, of passing through uh, a strait, but probably uh, a sort of uh, test of reasonableness under each specific uh, uh, set of circumstances uh, um, 
can be helpful in um, uh, defining uh, uh, um, the concept. Uh, the uh, the um, um, uh, other uh, duties, uh, or better, uh, most the duties on, on ships and uh, aircrafts um, uh, co concerns uh, the uh, respect uh, of uh, uh, rules and regulations and procedures on the safety at sea and on um, the respect of uh, rules of uh, the, uh, the, uh, the air. Um, the um, um, I think that uh, um, we can um, um, sustain uh, that the uh, under the point of view uh, of uh, um, uh, the duties uh, of uh, uh, ships uh, um, in in transit and aircrafts uh, in uh, transit um, the regime uh, is really extremely uh, functional uh, to uh, navigation um, uh, uh, and uh, uh, mm, uh, mm, the uh, protection uh, of uh, the sovereignty of coastal uh, states, it's uh, an element to be taken into consideration, but, but within uh, the uh, uh, function uh, to open um, international uh, straits, uh, 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 connecting uh, high seas or EZs uh, to uh, uh, um, uh, um, the freedom uh, of navigation. Uh, this uh, um, uh, goal uh, is all the more uh, um, uh, is, is, is uh, reinforced uh, um, if we read uh, the uh, duties um, uh, of the straight uh, state and the uh, limited uh, control um, prescriptive uh, uh, powers uh, um, UNCLOS uh, recognizes uh, to um, that um, state. Clearly, in a um, regime uh, centered uh, on navigation, uh, the straight uh, state cannot but be obliged uh, to guarantee navigation uh, through uh, the, um, uh, the straight. Uh, and uh, uh, all the prescriptive legislation, uh, uh, um, it uh, um, can uh, adopt uh, is finalized uh, to uh, that uh, end. It uh, um, is a leg legislation on safety of navigation and um, protection from pollution uh, mainly. Um, but the, um, um, the, the um, straight uh, state uh, isn't uh, free to adopt uh, whatever legislation it considers uh, useful to the end of the safety of navigation or to the end of the protection of uh, the marine environment of uh, the um, um, straight. On the contrary, uh, 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 UNCLOS uh, uh, specifies very clearly uh, which uh, uh, issues can be afforded by uh, the coastal uh, state uh, with uh, its um, legislation. And in particular, uh, uh, um, uh, the convention confines legislation um, on the safety of navigation uh, uh, um, and the uh, um, and, uh, the regulation of maritime uh, traffic to establishing uh, sea lanes and prescribing uh, traffic um, separation um, schemes. Uh, um, and also um, under um, a um, uh, um, um, 
and, and also uh, the um, elaboration, the preparation of traffic separation schemes and sea lanes is not left uh, to the totally autonomous uh, choices of the coastal uh, state of the strait. Uh, since um, the establishment of such uh, um, uh, route uh, and uh, mechanisms uh, uh, shall conform to and implement uh, generally uh, accepted uh, international uh, regulation. And uh, uh, very um, uh, singularly, um, the, uh, uh, the, the, the prescriptive competence uh, within this narrow framework is exercised by the coastal uh, state, but it uh, may act only with the approval of an international organization, uh, specifically uh, the reference is to the International uh, Maritime uh, Organization. Uh, also, uh, in the field of prevention, uh, reduction, and control of uh, pollution, the straight uh, states can only give effect to applicable international regulations regarding the discharge of oil, uh, oily wastes, and other noxious uh, substances in the uh, strait. Um, the, 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 the straight state enjoys greater legislative uh, freedom um, only, in my opinion, with respect to fishing uh, vessels and with respect to uh, loading or um, uh, um, unloading of any commodity, uh, currency or person in uh, violation uh, um, of uh, its customs, um, fiscal uh, immigration um, and sanitary uh, laws and uh, regulations. Uh, mm, uh, more uh, uh, goals uh, um, uh, can be um, uh, achieved by the coastal uh, states uh, uh, if uh, it uh, cooperates with the user uh, states of the strait. Um, this is uh, uh, very well indicated in Article 43 uh, of the Convention, which uh, in my opinion is a very important uh, article. Uh, because it envisages uh, a, a collaboration between uh, coastal state states and uh, uh, users uh, states, which uh, can um, uh, um, um, enhance um, navigational and safety uh, measures, uh, improve uh, these uh, measures, and uh, uh, better uh, uh, and provide uh, better protection uh, uh, concerning uh, the uh, um, uh, pollution uh, from um, uh, ships. Um, the idea, uh, uh, the, the role uh, of coastal uh, state uh, of, of, uh, in, in, of a strait with regard to navigation is um, 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 still um, more reduced uh, if we think about enforcement uh, power as, uh, powers uh, of the uh, coastal um, uh, states. Uh, indeed, um, uh, the, the, the straight uh, state has, um, um, uh, can take appropriate enforcement measures only in the event um, um, transiting vessels uh, violate uh, the regulations uh, adopted in a manner causing uh, or threatening major damage to the marine environment. So you see that adjectives uh, here as usual uh, count. Uh, uh, um, the, um, the coastal state can intervene with enforcement measures only if the damage to the environment is an extremely important damage. What uh, 
in the case of ma minor damages to the environment and what if uh, um, vessels in transit uh, um, do not comply uh, with the requirements uh, of transit passage uh, uh, provided for uh, by, uh, by UNCLOS and implemented uh, by uh, the coastal um, uh, state. Well, here uh, scholars uh, um, de uh, debate uh, a lot. Um, uh, various uh, theories uh, have been advanced, um, but uh, um, uh, well, uh, uh, unilateral uh, appropriate uh, unilateral uh, action uh, um, for uh, uh, um, the coastal state uh, um, um, seem to consist uh, mainly in the request uh, uh, with regard uh, to the ship of or airplane to continue uh, expeditiously uh, through uh, the strait or again, cooperation with the flag uh, state uh, can enter uh, into play uh, unless, uh, of course, the ship or the airplane voluntarily enter within uh, the uh, territory uh, of the coastal uh, state. Uh, after having rapidly uh, uh, examined uh, uh, the um, um, uh, regime of transit passage, uh, what uh, it's uh, possible uh, to conclude? Uh, the impression I, uh, I, I, I always um, uh, get is that the coastal uh, state is a sort of manager, of uh, controller uh, 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 of the uh, uh, navigation uh, through uh, the straits. Um, uh, um, it's a manager and a controller uh, in, in, in the name and on behalf of the international uh, community. And um, it, it's allowed uh, to exercise those uh, powers which are instrumental and functional uh, to the transit uh, to the transit uh, passage uh, or which are instrumental um, to the protection of the marine environment as uh, a common resource and not a peculiar uh, resource of the coastal um, uh, state. In some way, uh, uh, but of course, mutatis mutandis, uh, the coastal state uh, plays a role similar to that of uh, uh, river commissions, uh, such as uh, the very ancient central commission for the navigation uh, through the river um, Rhine, just to give you um, an uh, example. Uh, so, uh, the um, uh, regime uh, of transit uh, passage uh, can be considered an autonomous functional regime which has no nothing to share with the regime of territorial sea. Uh, in a certain way, in international straits, we have the, um, uh, the existence of two parallel regimes. On the one side, the regime of of, uh, transit passage, which is um, uh, envisaged uh, uh, according to a functional approach, and then the regime uh, of uh, territorial um, uh, seas, uh, which is on the contrary, uh, a spatial um, regime. Uh, 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 and both uh, uh, should uh, 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 um, Co coexist uh, for the better uh, utilization uh, of uh, the um, uh, straits. Of course, completely different is the framework uh, concerning uh, 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 the, um, uh, innocent uh, passage uh, through um, uh, international uh, straits. Here, uh, the regime 
is uh, uh, a regime stems from the territorial sea uh, regime. Here, the starting point is the uh, uh, sovereignty of the coastal um, uh, state. Um, and so uh, 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 the freedom of navigation is uh, not an uh, 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 aborigine um, um, regime, but it is derived uh, from uh, the regime of, uh, uh, it's a corollary uh, of the regime of the territorial uh, sea. And indeed, part three of the convention um, uh, completely uh, um, uh, refers uh, uh, to that end uh, to part two uh, of um, uh, on the territorial sea, except for the fact that uh, uh, innocent passage in straits cannot uh, uh, be uh, suspended. Um, and well, uh, it can uh, be uh, uh, thought that. Uh, these uh, so strong regime, um, in, so this regime of uh, uh, th these uh, regimes provided by uh, UNCLOS uh, in part three um, are uh, uh, extremely difficult to be uh, applied. But uh, uh, if we look uh, at uh, state's practice, we see that uh, uh, there have been and still there are a lot of uh, discussions uh, and uh, declarations and uh, um, uh, arguments and affirmations, uh, 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 critical uh, 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 arguments and critical uh, um, uh, 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 affirmations concerning uh, the transit passage uh, in order to reinforce, on the contrary, uh, the, uh, um, the, the straight uh, state's uh, role and sovereignty. But uh, at the end, all these uh, uh, discussions and affirmations and arguments um, are not uh, uh, do, do not give uh, 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 rise to uh, um, um, conducts uh, material conducts uh, 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 um, important uh, material um, uh, conducts uh, concrete sorry conducts uh, contrary not in compliance uh, uh, with uh, unclos and we can see that passing through uh, the practice of certain uh, uh, Mediterranean um, uh, straits. So we'll ask uh, uh, Dr. Wong if she uh, can um, kindly uh, show uh, the uh, slides uh, concerning uh, the um, uh, strait uh, of uh, Gibraltar. This uh, is an extremely uh, uh, important uh, um, 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 strait. As you can see from, uh, this is an overall uh, uh, um, map of the Mediterranean Sea. And then, um, uh, Megan, we can see uh, focus on the, um, on the um, Gibraltar um, uh, Strait, and slide number three. This is a, uh, the, the, the strait uh, from, from the, uh, uh, for, um, uh, pictured from the space, and then slide number uh, three, please, uh, uh, which uh, uh, the Gibraltar uh, Strait is an extremely important uh, strait, as you all uh, know. Uh, think that in 2018, um, um, around uh, 85,000 uh, um, vessels of all uh, types and varieties uh, uh, passed uh, through uh, these uh, these uh, um, uh, straits, uh, while the other very famous um, uh, choke point uh, um, 
uh, in the Mediterranean Sea, the Suez Canal stopped uh, just at only around um, 19,000 uh, vessels. So you can think uh, of how crowded uh, uh, these uh, strait uh, is, and um, it is really the door uh, to the Mediterranean, the, the gateway to the Mediterranean um, Sea. With international acceptance of uh, 12 uh, nautical uh, mile territorial sea, the strait uh, falls completely, uh, almo almost entirely within Spanish and um, Moroccan um, territorial waters, except for a disputed uh, portion uh, um, uh, of the northeastern uh, section of the strait, which uh, the British uh, claim uh, since uh, um, uh, 1704. Um, the strait enters, uh, the, the strait of Gibraltar enters fully in the category of international uh, strait um, uh, uh, submitted uh, to the transit passage uh, uh, regime. Uh, uh, since the uh, entry into uh, force of uh, UNCLOS, no serious attempts have been uh, made by Spain and uh, Morocco to limit uh, passage uh, through uh, the uh, Strait uh, of uh, Gibraltar. Uh, Spain indeed uh, issued uh, a declaration uh, when signing and then um, slightly changed while ratifying uh, the convention, um, saying that um, it uh, understands that the Straits regime in uh, UNCLOS is compatible uh, with the right uh, of the um, uh, bordering um, uh, state to enact and enforce in Straits used for international navigation its own regulations, provided that such regulation do not interfere with the right of transit uh, passage. Uh, Spain's declaration also stated that uh, government uh, aircraft exercising uh, transit passage will normally uh, comply with the rules of the air uh, established by uh, the International uh, Civil uh, Aviation Organization. In, but uh, uh, these declarations uh, have never been uh, followed uh, by uh, important uh, attempts uh, to uh, limit or uh, impede or uh, um, uh, um, altering uh, the uh, transit uh, passage uh, through the strait. In 1996, the International Maritime Organization approved a mandatory uh, ship report Reporting system uh, because of the uh, um, so uh, numerous uh, uh, vessels uh, transiting uh, each day uh, around 200 250 uh, in the Straits. Uh, uh, then we have a completely uh, different regime, which uh, uh, underlines uh, uh, the peculiarities, uh, 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 underlines a contrario, uh, the peculiarities of uh, the uh, transit passage re regime and the innocent passage re regime following uh, UNCLOS, the regime of the Bosporus and Dardanelles. So please, Dr. Wong, we can pass uh, to the other uh, slide. Thank you very much. Uh, here you see these two um, uh, straits uh, 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 whose uh, um, uh, total uh, length is about um, 160 uh, miles from the Black Sea to the Aegean um, uh, Sea. Uh, these two straits are uh, regulated by the Montreux uh, Convention, which uh, uh, already at that time when it was adopted was considered uh, a sort of uh, uh, um, uh, um, uh, a, uh, a sort of a back to the past uh, from uh, the previous uh, treaty uh, uh, of Lausanne. Um, 
the convention uh, uh, affirms uh, the principle of navigation of, of uh, uh, transit and navigation uh, uh, in the straits as a principle of international law but there are uh, significant limitation um, to uh, uh, the free passage uh, in the convention uh, itself. The regime is extremely detailed. Uh, it, uh, um, uh, there is a regime for uh, merchant vessels and uh, um, um, uh, a regime for warships. Uh, there is a regime uh, in peacetime and a regime in uh, wartime. Uh, the wartime regime is distinguished uh, based on uh, the belligerent or non-belligerent status of uh, Turkey. Uh, 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 um, concerning uh, merchant uh, vessel, um, uh, they enjoy uh, uh, vessels. They enjoy uh, um, um, uh, freedom of uh, passage um, and uh, navigation but they have to comply with uh, certain uh, procedural uh, um, uh, obligations. Uh, um, and uh, um, for example, they have, uh, according uh, to the convention, uh, they have to declare to Turkish officials, their uh, captains have to declare uh, to uh, Turkish officials their vessel's name, nationality, tonnage, destination, and uh, so uh, on. They must um, uh, always, according to the convention, uh, stop uh, near the entrance uh, uh, of either uh, straight for sanitary control, but after they can uh, pass through the straits without making any uh, more uh, stops. Uh, completely different, and I won't describe it, is the regime for warships. And in particular, um, uh, here, uh, uh, Turkey has a role of guardian. Um, 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 since uh, uh, worship uh must announce uh, their uh, journey uh, some days before, uh, eight days. There is a maximum number of warships which can pass uh, every day. Uh, for um, ships not, uh, fla uh, not um, um, having the flag, uh, flying the flag of uh, Black Sea uh, coastal uh, states. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the coastal uh, states of the Black Sea uh, are submitted uh, to a um, different uh, regime uh, since uh, the uh, Turkish Straits are a necessary um, uh, gateway uh, to reach uh, the Mediterranean Sea and then uh, the oceans. But uh, um, what uh, uh, nowadays uh, uh, characterized uh, the Turkish Strait is not only uh, the Montreux Convention, but the um, uh, Turkish Strait's maritime regulations, uh, which have been adopted by uh, Turkey in 1994 and renewed uh, some years after in 1990. After um, a dramatic uh, tanker uh, incident, which uh, caused uh, an important environmental uh, damage in the uh, area. The regulations are very, very uh, detailed and they uh, impose uh, to um, uh, vessels um, passing through the straits a lot of uh, uh, obligations and, um, uh, and in particular a procedural uh, obligation. Um, um, uh, for example, uh, uh, um, 
uh, they uh, vessels are advised uh, if they exceed uh, certain uh, 150 meters uh, to take a pilot uh, for safety of navigation if they are foreign vessel the Turkish one are obliged to utilize a pilot uh, they um, 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 they cannot discharge any pollutants uh, uh, um, in uh, the straits. Uh, the uh, particular uh, procedure are provided for uh, um, uh, ships uh, carrying hazardous uh, cargo, uh, for ships uh, um, um, for nuclear powered um, uh, vessels and vessels carrying nuclear uh, uh, dangerous or noxious uh, cargoes. Uh, uh, in, for, for these categories of uh, straits, it seems that Turkey can uh, prohibit uh, such uh, vessel uh, from passing uh, through uh, the strait. Um, just uh, uh, um, an, um, um, a lastly uh, information on the Turkish uh, straits. Uh, uh, um, uh, 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 specialized uh, uh, reviews uh, journals um, uh, are uh, 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 dealing uh, these days with uh, uh, a, a Turkish uh, project, uh, a project uh, aimed at uh, building um, an artificial uh, transit. Uh, so please, uh, Dr. Wong, um, there is is, um, I think, uh, a slide, not this one, the next one. Uh, okay, thank you very much. Uh, is la, uh, a, um, 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 the, the Turkey uh, um, um, would uh, be uh, in the future uh, um, would be in the future build uh, um, um, an artificial uh, channel uh, northwest uh, of Istanbul, uh, thirty-one miles long, uh, which would would allow the passage of large uh, ships and oil um, tankers. Obviously, this uh, this uh, um, uh, canal um, uh, wouldn't be uh, submitted to the regime uh, of uh, the um, Montre Convention, which uh, uh, the Turkish government, um, anyway, um, um, repeatedly um, affirms uh, um, uh, um, uh, is not uh, under um, discussion. Uh, then we can pass uh, to uh, the uh, Strait uh, of uh, Messina, uh, which is uh, a strait between uh, continental Italy and uh, uh, the Italian uh, island uh, of um, uh, Sicily. Uh, it uh, uh, full completely within the category of uh, straits where um, the principle of innocent passage uh, applies. As I told you, uh, uh, um, during the negotiations of uh, UNCLOS, this regime was called the so uh, was uh, named as the uh, Messina exception. It is long 32 uh, kilometers and um, it is wide from two uh, uh, to, um, sorry, 20 miles, is long 20 miles, and uh, it is um, uh, uh, wide uh, from two uh, to 10 miles uh, uh, from north uh, to uh, south. Um, um, following, uh, it is a very um, uh, um, 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 let's say uh, uh, um, um, a lot of vessels uh, passed uh, pass uh, uh, through uh, this uh, channel, uh, this strait. Sorry, from north to south and the contrary, and from east to west and the contrary. Uh, please, Megan, uh, could you kindly show the other? Uh, 
slide thank you very much uh, so uh, um, uh, Italy um, following uh, an, an accident uh, again involving uh, an oil uh, tanker the Patmos in 1985 uh, um, uh, adopted um, uh, through uh, two um, governmental uh, decrees um, not only a system uh, for uh, separating uh, maritime traffic that you can see uh, here in the in the slide um, um, uh, but also a compulsory uh, notification uh, system for all uh, merchant uh, ships and uh, thirdly uh, Italy uh, introduced uh, uh, a ban uh, on passage uh, through the strait for ships uh, carrying uh, dangerous uh, substances. Um, while uh, the, um, the United States uh, um, uh, considered, um, uh, uh, criticized these last uh, um, uh, um, um, uh, this last uh, the, the, uh, 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 decision by the Italian um, uh, government uh, as uh, contrary um, uh, to the regime of innocent uh, passage. Uh, uh, the Italian decrees uh, refer to um, a sort of state to a state of necessity, so the necessity to avoid uh, other uh, um, pollution. Uh, in the Strait. But from uh, 1985 um, uh, up to now, um, there are um, a certain acquiescence uh, uh, there has been um, um, concerning uh, the ban um, uh, uh, of the passage uh, uh, of this kind uh, of uh, vessels. And uh, lastly, the trade of Bonifacio, which is a good example uh, on um, how it's uh, possible uh, to protect as much as possible the marine environment. Here in this um, uh, strait, we have a very, very delicate marine environment. Um, uh, while at the same time respecting, uh, complying with uh, uh, UNCLOS uh, um, regime of uh, 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 um, passage uh, in transit, which applies uh, to the Strait uh, of Bonifacio because it uh, um, uh, connect uh, to uh, parts uh, of the um, high seas or to exclusive uh, economic uh, zones. Um, uh, Dr. Wong, if you could kindly uh, uh, show the last uh, slide, you can see how uh, um, uh, dangerous is this, uh, this strait because of the presence of many islands and rocks uh, in the middle um, of the passage. Uh, for that reason, uh, um, the International Maritime Organization uh, adopted in 1998 a resolution um, for um, uh, a system of traffic uh, routing uh, and uh, a compulsory uh, procedure of uh, reporting um, by uh, ships uh, in uh, transit. Um, this resolution was implemented, has been implemented by France and Italy through respective governmental um, uh, decrees. Then uh, these two states have adopted for their national uh, vessels uh, more um, uh, limitations. Uh, for example, they uh, uh, have decided uh, to prevent uh, the transit um, of uh, vessel um, flying their flag, uh, which um, uh, uh, carry um, uh, hydrocarbons or dangerous and environmentally uh, harmful uh, chemical um, uh, substances. 
Uh, but in 2011, uh, um, uh, the strait was uh, designated uh, as a particular uh, sensitive sea area um, under IMO uh, uh, regulations. And these um, allowed the introduction of additional uh, measures uh, to strengthen the protection uh, of the, the fragile uh, ecosystem of this um, uh, strait. Uh, um, there is a ship uh, ship routing. Uh, uh, there, there, uh, it is um, um, compulsory to uh, utilize uh, qualified uh, uh, pilots. Um, and a certain mechanism of uh, ship reporting uh, is um, um, again uh, compulsory. Um, so uh, in that case, uh, uh, with the cooperation between the two states under uh, the uh, um, uh, the uh, impulse of uh, of uh, IMO, uh, the regime for this trade is rather articulated. Uh, but uh, really a good compromise between uh, the um, uh, duties for coastal states uh, under UNCLOS and the need uh, to protect uh, the uh, environment. Uh, well, uh, 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 in conclusion, uh, I think uh, that uh, of course, uh, um, um, uh, nobody can deny uh, the existence of uh, uh, green uh, zones in the uh, regime for straits uh, um, provided for by uh, UNCLOS. Uh, but uh, um, in practice, uh, states show um, uh, um, an attitude uh, towards uh, cooperation and uh, rather often Often uh, declarations are not uh, followed uh, by uh, act actions, uh, 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 important actions uh, contrary uh, to uh, the uh, uh, um, uh, uh, rules uh, uh, contained in uh, UNCLOS. In cases, um, uh, possible cases, when uh, the um, uh, uh, transit passage or the innocent passage uh, would be uh, 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 stopped or, or uh, importantly uh, altered or hindered, uh, um, it is not uh, wrong to say that uh, uh, it is not incorrect to say that uh, uh, such a situation could uh, um, uh, uh, constitute uh, a threat to international peace uh, and security and could uh, uh, um, uh, require the intervention of the UN uh, Security uh, Council, which uh, other times, not with reference of uh, threats, uh, is uh, um, uh, at the time intervened uh, um, in the law of the sea uh, field uh, to um, uh, in favor to the maintenance uh, of uh, international uh, peace uh, and um, uh, security. Thank you very much. A huge thank you to Judge Ida Caracciolo for this really enlightening lecture. And um, Dr. Jones, if you would like to pitch in. No, nothing to add, just to thank you for that uh, really detailed and fascinating lecture. It's made me realize I need to learn a lot more about straight. So thank you very much, Judge, for joining us. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Jones. Thank you, Dr. Jones and Dr. Wong uh, uh, for your uh, invitation and for your professionality uh, in organizing uh, these uh, um, series uh, of lectures. Thank you very much.